Today's show is all about adding dimension to your quilting projects. I'm going to show you how to cut and sew a block using the Go Mosaic Number no. 4 die. Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. We have the brilliant Brock in the house today. How are you, sir? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little upset right now. How come? Producer Joe gave me some really bad news earlier. What's that? He's stomping on my creativity. Oh, dang. We have to kind of roll some things there, rein some things in if Brilliant Brock is co-hosting today. But um, we should show everyone your shirt because your shirt is oh. super cool. Got to rock the Golden Girls today. Rocking the Golden Girls. Yep. I love it. All right, where is everyone watching from today? We have Donna watching from Tuttle, Oklahoma. And Peggy is watching from Newton, Iowa. Thanks for joining us today. All right, let's, show, let's look at the uh, showcase, the new projects from our interview video. First up is this really cool one from Needle and the Bell on Instagram. And Brock, what die did they use? S uh, squares and strips or and or strips. Yeah, yeah, to make a fun little... Um, Advent calendar. Advent calendar. I feel like he can only reach the bottom row. Oh, uh, I bet if he gets tiptoed, he could go to the middle row. Okay, there we go. I just want to know what he's putting in there. Right, or taking out. Or, yeah. yeah, there you go. Next, we have this fun project from Elks Sewing Center. Okay, Brock, what die is that? Uh, so during rehearsals, I incorrectly called that the carpenter's wheel, but that is the feather star. It is the feather star. It's beautiful. I love all of the colors in this. They did a great job. And last up, we have this fun project from Naomi. And what die did she use? There's gnomes. Gnomes for days. Among other things. Yes, and cubes. Super cute. All right, here is my photo of the day. Uh, so this is my morning star quilt. It's made from grunge, and it's a gift, actually, that I uh, got mailed yesterday. So it uses the morning star dye. So the question of the day is, do you, our viewers, prefer to make quilts from the same block like Morningstar, or do you like sampler quilts? So here in the studio, we had a sampler. Um, Justin would like sampler. Joe likes the same block. What about you, Brock? I would prefer sampler. Okay. If, the, if it's a bigger quilt that's like got a lot of the blocks in there, I prefer, yeah, mix it up. Okay, and your mom's a quilter. Does she do lots of sampler quilters, sampler quilts? Uh, on and off. She mixes, she, she goes back and forth. Okay. All right, so don't forget to check out the AccuQuilt website for some great deals and discounts that are happening right now. Today I'm giving away one of our Go Mosaic number no. four dies. Be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. When you register, you receive event emails and that way you'll never miss an exciting tutorial. The brilliant Brock will announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of our show. We're excited about this. All right, so here's the block that we're gonna make. And the project supply list includes a Go Mosaic uh, number four die, a six by 24 cutting mat, and then fat quarters of each fabric. So you're gonna need a light purple, a dark purple, light yellow, dark yellow, and then this outer border pink, okay? Um, so Brock, do you like this colorway? Would you choose to do a different color? Uh, so I see that and I think of like Starburst. Uh, oh. <laughs> so that's, that's not a bad thing. No, um, no. I'd, I'd mix it up though. I'm more of like a dark color person. So like the, okay. the yellows and the lights, and eh, maybe not for me. Okay, okay, all right. So don't forget in the comment sections, we wanna know, do you like making quilts of the same block or different blocks? Give us some ideas. Now we have some beautiful free patterns available for you on the AccuQuilt website. And again, today I'm gonna to show you how to cut and sew this block that you can use in future projects. All right, so we wanna take a look at the die. So first of all, I'm gonna move this so I don't burn myself. 
Uh, first of all, it's on a six by 24 die board. It's gonna fit through all of our cutters, including that Go Me. It has screen printed letters, only two shapes. So Brock, what two shapes do we have? Uh, triangles. Half square and, triangles. Yes, and um, chisels. Chisels, That's right. excellent. And we've screen printed them. We have specialized dog ears. And that way you can create the shapes that are needed for this block. Now this block looks really hard, like it's difficult to put together. It is not. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to put it together. Now, one of the things we wanna talk about in this block is, Brock, do you remember how many pieces we have in each block? Uh, yes, I believe the correct answer is between one and 100. It is between one and 100. It is 64. And <laughs> so if you put um, this one die has enough, you can put the fabric to cut one complete block in just one pass through your cutter, which I think is fabulous. All right, so here's my pro tip. This shape here, shape A, it is a chisel. It is what we call a directional shape. So in this block, you're gonna need a left and a right of the chisels. See how there's a left and a right? So if you're using patterned fabric, you wanna do what I just did here and called fan folding, go back and forth so that you get a left and a right. If you just stack it up straight, it's going to only um, give you a left and then you're gonna be cranky about that. Now I am happen to be using solids, okay? So um, I don't have to worry so much about the left and the right. And I'm just gonna lay my fabric down. You can always cut up to six layers of cotton, but you can cut flannel, felt, denim, wool, cork, minky, all the things. Okay. And then I need more of the, sh the pink shapes than I do the purples. So I've actually covered both of those rows. I love how the shapes are set on the die board so that you can do that. All right, and then B, you're gonna need some dark yellow and some light yellows. So I have subcut my fabric according to the pattern so that we get dark yellows and light yellow half square triangles. And that's it, super easy to lay out your fabric and cut. I'm gonna tell you to make a test block, okay, so that you can see how your pieces go together. Um, the one that I just showed you was actually my test block, and we're gonna talk about it. All right, so Brock, I'm gonna run this through our Go Big because we can. Um, so tell us in the comment section, do people like the same block or do they like samplers? Uh, so it's a really it's pretty even, it's pretty even right now. Really? But uh, let's see, we've got Tammy and Virginia and Susan and Janet are all sampler quilters. Okay. And we've got Gail, Sandy, Bet, and Beth are all the same block. I'll prefer the same block, but Sheila had a good idea. Sheila said uh, the same block, but in different colorways. So it kind of feels like it's oh. different. Oh. I like that. I'm liking good that. Good idea. I'm liking that. Um, yesterday, we saw that great quilt by Gina Jempasoff for the Chinese Lantern, which we'll talk about next week. And it has one block that's off, different color. I'm loving that concept. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a little love. I'm gonna slide my mat, don't lift, because it's super staticky in here. Oh, look, I have my gnome cup. Gnome for the holidays. The lovely Erica gave it to me. Okay. All right, so now I wanna show you this. Because we fan folded, we're gonna get a left and a right, okay? So keep that in mind, really, really important that if you're using patterned fabric, get a left and a right, all right? All right, so I'm gonna lay this out and show you because this was my test block and I thought it turned out just fabulous, but there were some things that I've learned since I made the test block and I'm gonna share those with you today. All right, so I'm gonna move my blue. All right. So first of all, there's gonna be a left and a right of every color, all right? So when you lay out your fabric, you just wanna lay them out 
lefts and rights. Okay. And the purples only get the light yellows. I just think this is fabulous. Whoever created this pattern was brilliant because they knew some stuff, okay? And when you lay out your half square triangles, you're gonna notice we have those specialized dog ears. So look how perfect they're gonna lay right here. And you're gonna sew right across the top, okay? Sometimes in chisels, we put the half square triangle here. This pattern, you put the half square triangle here, okay? All right, so Brock, while I'm laying out my yellow half square triangles, tell us our people like an sampler quilts and blocks. And I feel like if you want to, if you have just a quilt that you want to make out of just a single, like a bob die, tell us, tell us which bob die it is. Yeah, a lot of people still, still pretty mixed. But yeah. uh, let's see, uh, Pat Francis likes to mix and match. Uh, Paula and Michelle like to, like the uniform look of the same block. Uh, Jenny Gans uh, likes making her own designs. Jenny, Sometimes you're brilliant. Likes to, to do, mix, mix in the patterns that she can find on nakiquilt.com. There you go. Fun. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna start and we're gonna sew these together and we're gonna get a little drink. Um, so Brock, speaking of your Golden Girl shirt, yeah. who, who do you see yourself as, as the Golden Girls? Oh, I mean, as much as I try to be a Sophia, I'm, I'm a Dorothy. I'm a Dorothy all the way. I'm Dorothy, I love it. Um, I, I bet I'm a Dorothy. You think so? I don't know, what do you think? Well, no, well, let us know in the comments section. You like, have you have moments of Dorothyisms. I'll, gi I'll give you that. I have lots of moments of Sophia. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so now I'm just sewing the rights. Okay, we're finding that perfect half square triangle. We're going down that quarter inch seam. We're sewing the rights, and I'm doing the light purples and the dark purples. And I want you to know that if you followed this method, you're gonna be able to sew this block together so fast. There are no Y seams. Brock, have you ever sewn a Y seam? Uh, I've not. I sewn have a you lot of letters, sewn? but not on. I have sewn, yes. Okay. Yes. Back in, in, in school, had to make a Thanksgiving placemat uh, one time. <laughs> Excellent. So like in Home Ac? Yeah. So it okay. involved applique and then sewing and then stitch to finish oh, it and everything. So. Okay. Not okay. gonna lie, it was like 70% mom and 30% me, but I did, I did just enough to get the grade. <laughs> it was so. good. He did a little work, good job. Okay, so now I'm doing the same thing and I'm sewing the lefts. I'm keeping my lefts and rights separate, okay? Um, when I was in school, um, Half the year, my, I have a brother, Brian, who's a year older than I am. And um, so he was just a grade ahead. And we had half the year was home ec, and the other half the year was shop, wood shop. So like in home ec, he was in charge of preheating the oven and taste testing. Oh, that sounds like a good job for me. Uh-huh, right? And then in wood shop, I was in charge of sanding. Ooh. And together we got A's. <laughs> so Very nice. it worked out really well for Did us. You employ the karate kid method of sand on, sand off. Uh, no, but that was really popular when I was going to school. So that's funny you say that. Yeah. Okay. Always got to make sure you got to have the right form down. You do. Sandy, we had electric sanders, which I thought was super fun. So you cheated, is what you're saying. Uh, pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> pretty sure. Okay, so here's my laughs. Here's my rights, okay? And you wanna keep them that way because I'm gonna tell you, pressing is critical to this block. And I'm gonna show you how, okay? All right, I have to make sure. Okay, so the rights, I am gonna press towards this half square triangle. And then on the lefts, I'm gonna press towards the chisel. 
That way my pieces are going to nest. And that's how you get these good clean lines. If you don't get the good clean lines, it kind of ruins the effect of the block. Okay, so sometimes they look like right here. I didn't nest them. And so there's, it's just a stitch off. In the scheme of it, when I were to quilt it, it would be okay, but I want you to have yours perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little pressing. All right, so Brock, tell us if people are liking to do, here we go. Um, Samplers samplers? or one blocks? Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are jumping on, uh, the, on, on Sheila's trailer of doing varied colorways for the same block to make it kind of look different. A lot of I people are saying that they, they like the sampler idea, but they don't want to go more than maybe two or three different blocks. They don't want to like have it be totally insane looking. Oh, right, right. Oh, that's great. Okay, and then if you're, if you're on that whole block and board thing, tell us which bob dies you've been making, right? That you've used to make your quilts. I just finished one um, uh, yesterday or the day before that is grandmother's fan, which I love. Okay, so all the rights get pressed towards shape B. And then all the lefts get pressed towards the chisel. And Brock, are you ready for the holidays? I am. Good. I think I finally, I, I put an online order in the other day to finish up the, the Christmas shopping. Excellent. Uh, for other people. I'm still, you know, always shopping for me. Always. And did you get a new puzzle for the holidays? Because your, your family are the puzzle people. Uh, we are. It makes us sound like a weird cult when you say it like that. But, uh, <laughs> it's, it's true. Yeah, we, we, there might be a little truth to that. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying you're wrong. Okay. I'm saying the tone may be uh, great. Gotcha. gotcha. Uh, we started a, a new puzzle just a couple of days ago. It's a thousand pieces and it's round. Uh, oh wow! It was really hard because, like, I you always know, do the edges first, right? Uh, but like, they wouldn't, they didn't like snap together. Some of them just kind of like slid next to each other. Oh sure. So it's like it constantly is shifting. It was driving me insane until we actually is got it. Is it like the Death there. Star? It is not. It's a it's a plate of it's been. a plate of Christmas cookies. Oh so very it's, you know, fun. It's, yeah, the time of year kind of thing. Oh very fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I've done my purples. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my pinks, all right? And I wanted to make sure that I sewed the right color triangle to the top, which is why I separated these. Okay, so now I have a left and a right, and I'm gonna add the half square triangles. Remember, the pink get the dark, okay? That's how you know you're doing it right. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, four and four and four. Okay, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing and I'm gonna press them the exact same way because then when I go to put it in the block, um, they're gonna nest as well. All right, Brock, any questions, quilters, if you have questions about this die or how to sew it together, let us know in the comments section. Uh, so one question we've gotten a couple times and it's one that comes up a lot when we release new dies and things like that is can you make it with the cube? And what is the answer to that? You cannot. Well, this one. This one actually you can, but you, typically you cannot. Typically you cannot. And this one you can, but how many pieces were in it? 64. 64. So Only all of the. NCAA tournament worth. <laughs> yes. There, March I to, Madness. I have to think in sports. There we go, March Madness worth. So if you were to make it with your cube, you would have to just keep cutting the shapes over and over and over again, whereas on the die, they're just all together. So it's gonna save you tons of time. It's gonna help you stay organized. It's just gonna be faster and easier. So, but yeah, most of the time, we, we do not. All and, right, do uh, we, we have other questions? So uh, Brenda asked uh, what I do with my puzzles once we're done with them. And uh, typically, it, it didn't, I didn't start doing this right away, but I started doing it pretty quickly after we made a few. Is that I'll, I'll get a picture, I'll take a picture of the full one so I have like a full like photo record of all the ones that we've done. Right. And then 
it's just fun to, you know, tear a puzzle apart and put it back in the box. There you go. And do you ever redo a puzzle twice? There have been a few that I've done. I've got a 4D cityscape of uh, Gotham City and Game of Thrones. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you get a 4D? So there's like, there's the basic puzzle layer. Right. And then there's a layer on top of that that's like foam. Okay. And it has like the same image on it. But okay. then they, they send you like the little buildings, like three, the three dimensional. Like Legos. Well, eh, not quite, but in, in that vein. But yeah, okay. and then you got to find like the right place where those go. So you have like a full city that's like, you know, sure. length and, and up and 40. And when you were a kid, did you do Legos? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. My brother was a big Lego guy uh, and he's older than me. So I, did, you know, he would build everything and then some of it would get torn apart and some of it would not. And sometimes he would be not happy about that, but yeah. You know, no, we are big it's, Lego builders at our house when our kids were little. And was it just Legos? Now, huh? Was it just Legos? Did you just, do Lincoln Logs? No. Kinetics? No. No? For about a year, we did Connects. Yeah? You tried to... made Roller Coaster. Did you try to build the slingshot from Sandlot? <laughs> no, but I wish <laughs> now we had, because that is one of the greatest movies of all time. Um, That's true. No, we built the Roller Coaster with Connects, and then... We were done. Okay, so left and right, I'm gonna press them the exact same way. Okay, pressing is key. All right, and hey, quilters, don't forget, all of our videos live on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. So if you need to, you can go back and watch this one um, and say, oh wait, how did Pam press these? Then you'll know. And the reason we're gonna do this is so that as it goes around the circle, every time it's gonna um, nest. And that was just like a little pressing secret I learned when I was making blocks for this. So, and Brock, do you have a favorite block on board or Bob die? Uh, I've always liked the Hunter Star. Hunter Star, classic, yeah. classic. Okay. So uh, we've, got, we've got a comment here and I've got to agree with it. Okay. Pam, you're a Rose Nyland. She I'm a Rose? You're a Rose. Really? You're a Betty White. No. You're, do you you're, okay. you're fun. You're kind. You, you've always you really got this bubbly energy about you. And you're a lot smarter than people tend to think you are, maybe. <laughs> Super excited about that. Oh, here. I'm, see, now I'm pressing my seams wrong. Uh, thank you. I do have a college education, so there you go. Uh, well, thank you. So a rose, huh? Okay, so well, why we're here in the studio, um, so what is producer, who is producer Joe on the Golden Girls? Joe <laughs> 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 Keeping in mind that producer Joe is in charge of all of our paychecks. <laughs> Just think about that for a minute. Okay, now we are ready to sew our triangles together. So quilters do all of the pieces just like this. Cut all of the light and the dark and sew them together just like this. Then press them. Then when you get ready to put your block together, you can just chain piece. So look at this. I saved you there, Joe. i talking about sewing. Okay, now look, these pieces are gonna nest. They're gonna line up perfectly. Okay, so no, really, who do you think? Well, we could start with Justin, cameraman Justin, who's running the teleprompter today. He's multitasking. Justin's a rose, too. <laughs> oh, there you go. He, he is, is he smarter than you think he is? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but he's, you know, he's always just fun, in a good mood. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Constantly talking about St. Olaf. There you go. <laughs> St. Olaf. <laughs> Oh, gosh. And the lovely Erica? Ooh. She's not here, so you can say whatever you want. Well, she's, she's definitely not a Blanche. She's definitely not a Blanche. She's, she's somewhere in between a, a Sophia and a Rose, I think. Oh, there. Okay. And I think that's kind, of, that's kind of where you fit, but more between Dorothy and Rose. Okay. Okay. And producer Joe? Joe doesn't fit. Joe doesn't he fit just in the Golden Girls? He really doesn't fit the Golden Girls. Dang. It's not a dig. It's just like his personality. It just doesn't match. He belongs like on Gilligan's Island or something. 
Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, he's, yeah. He's, he's somewhere between the skipper and the professor. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go, Joe. <laughs> I got you saved here. All right. Okay, so look how I'm just sewing pieces together. And we're talking about Golden Girls. Okay, so Brock, let's talk about AccuQuilt. Yes. Why is ac an AccuQuilt fabric cutter better than rotary cutting? Uh, faster. Yes. Much more accurate. Yes. Um, the thing, just like the, yeah. 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 I was just going to say other words for those same two ones, but yeah. Right. Faster, accurate. Easy. Easy. Right. Um, I would never make this black without a die. There's, it's just not going to happen ever. There's just way too many pieces to cut and sew and those little dog ears. I just finished a project where um, it wasn't an AccuQuilt project, so there was some cutting and uh, cutting off dog ears. It took me forever to cut them off. So, all right. Do we, okay, are people liking bobs or are they liking... Uh, sampler quilts, what are we liking? Uh, so it's a good mix of both, but you had asked uh, what some people's favorite uh, yes. quilts were. So yes. uh, let's see, uh, Janice is a big bear claw fan. Oh, I, I yeah. I assume that's the dye and not the pastry, although it could oh, both, be both. Both could apply. Uh, Beth is also a Hunter Star fan, so. There you go. Give me Beth. Uh, let's see, uh, Janet is a big Lemoyne Star fan. Oh, yes, that's a great classic uh, clock. Michelle uh, enjoys the Churn Dash. Churn Dash is great because it's super easy to put together. It looks really complicated, but it's not. Uh, Lois likes the Ohio Star. Oh, there you go. And yeah, that's what we've yeah. got so far. All right, so now we've cut our pieces for our two little blocks, our little units here. We're going to snip them off. Okay. And again, we are going to keep, <laughs> we're going to keep so track of lefts and rights. So now that I have these little units sewn together, okay, I am going to press them open. And I want you to see, look how perfect that is because we nested that seam, okay? So now I'm gonna just press them flat. Hey, if you don't have one of these little um, wool mats and an iron, they're on our website, pick one up. Put it under the tree for you. Uh, Brock, do you usually buy a present for yourself? Oh yeah. <laughs> do, do you buy more than one? Yes. Good. That way you get what you want. It's true. Right? It's true. It's typically what it is, is I'll buy what I want, and then, like, my parents or whoever wants to give it to me as a gift will just pay me back for it. Gotcha. But there's, there's usually plenty under the tree that's to me from me. There you go. I like that. And we I had a, sometimes. We had, we had a question, another puzzle question. Oh, okay. Uh, from Kathy, who asked uh, if we'd ever done... Uh, a puzzle that had two puzzles in one box and you had to separate the pieces. Oh, I've never even heard of such an animal. I've, I've heard of that. I haven't done it, but I have done a few of the mystery puzzles where you don't know what the end image looks like. Oh, yes, I've done those. You like that. Yes. I enjoy those. those were, uh, they had one that was like for Alfred Hitchcock that I did that was okay. like a murder mystery one, which was really fun. Um, for those of you who don't know, Brilliant Brock is a huge movie buff. He runs our Tuesday mm. trivia. You know, runs, started. Started. You know, every, every, everyone pitches in now and then. We do. Um, sometimes, and we kind of all take turns winning. Who won this week? Oh, Lynn won this week. Lynn won this but week. But Alyssa, Alyssa's going to do her question. Yeah, because Lynn's not here every week. She's not. I don't know why that is, but she is not. Okay, so look how I'm just pressing these open. It's going to go super fast to make these blocks. So, um, so you, I've never even heard of two puzzles in one box. I would hope they would be distinctly different, <laughs> like dogs and cats. <laughs> Living together, mass hysteria. Yes. <laughs> All right. And I love that people are were kind of divided between sampler quilts and bobs. Because sampler quilts you can use with your cubes. And cubes work together. You can use different sizes to make blocks that work together. All right, look at this. Okay. And if you have one of these little irons, then when you're putting your pieces together, um, it's going to go together easy. Okay, so I just need to make two more little 
quarter blocks. So look at this. I'm gonna put them here and I'm gonna put them here. And because I pressed them lefts and rights, now even on the corner here, it's going to nest. Pressing is critical, okay? So now I'm gonna sew these together. All right, Brock, do we have questions? Do we have comments? Uh, we've got some more favorite bobs here. Okay, let's hear those. So, all right, I got a bunch. I'm just gonna rattle these off. Linda likes the storm at sea. Jenny likes the tumbler die and the whirling star. Carrie likes the chimney sweep. Uh, Lynn is also a Hunter Star fan, not Lynn Gibney. Okay, we call her the Gibney. We call her the Gibney. Uh, Dolores likes the applique dies. Oh, there you go. Uh, Janice is a Morning Star fan. Marcia is a Storm at Sea quilter. Sandy likes the Hunter and Feather Star. Debbie likes Hunter Star and Grandmother's fan. Oh, there you go. Hunter Star really getting lots of love today from our viewers. Well, I mean, I don't want to say that I'm a trendsetter or anything yeah. by being the first to say it. But, but kind of you are. There we go. Okay. Uh, Dolores likes the Starry Path. Uh, see, I'm guessing it's San Francisco native gal uh, likes, the, likes this new mosaic. Oh, it's so pretty. I really do love this. Okay, uh, oh, so we've got a drop in also from a one Erica Botker. I think that's how it's pronounced. I think um, so. She likes the Washington's Puzzle and the Glorified Nine Patch. Oh, there you go. I know that. Was, uh, was unaware. Who knew? Okay, now this is critical. You want to read the pattern, right? Because the light pink or the light purple goes to the right of the dark purple. Don't mix them up, okay? So look how fast we're just sewing these pieces together. And I do love to just chain piece. It's not as fun as making puzzles, but it is super fun when you're making quilts. So we do have a couple of questions here now. Okay. So Teresa asked, is there a reason this wasn't made with a two shape, as a two shape block, a triangle and a double end chisel? Why? So could you, could you make this as a two shape block? It only has two shapes. But uh, different Oh, shapes. like here. So like if we used whatever shape this is, like a half hexagon or a or trapezoid. Trapezoid. And then a triangle on the top. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Good eye, Teresa. Good job, Teresa, figuring that out. Um, I think we make it like that so that you can change up the centers, but that is a great question. Look at our quilters knowing stuff. Oh. Okay. We had a question from Rita about you. Uh, she was curious, and she mentioned it earlier, what your college degree was in. Um, I have a college degree in history. When I was in college, um, my, my desire, I know you'll find this hard to believe, uh, was to go to law school. <laughs> and Lawyer Pam, that's something to think about. There's some, I, I was more like Judge Pam. So, um, and then um, I married a guy who was going to medical school. So... Uh, we have Dr. Ray instead of Judge Pam, and I'm okay with that. But yeah, I loved history. Okay, so look how these are gonna line up perfectly because we pressed them in the left and the right. Now, when it comes to this point, once again, we're gonna press them in opposite directions, so our two halves of our block are going to nest. Your block is gonna look so pretty because it's nesting. I just think that that's such a great term. Okay, here we go. All right, most of the guys in this room uh, went to college like to film school, right? Yep, that's true. Yeah. Okay, so now since I press those down, I'm gonna press this up towards the purple. I'm gonna give it a good press there. I would love to, I would love to see this in different colorways. You could use our Go Quilt program on our website. It allows you to change the color of thousands of projects, including this one. Okay. So now look. Make sure I do it right. Okay. And because I pressed in, ah, I didn't. 
press in opposite directions. Hold on. I'll press them the other way. There we go. Sometimes I get my lefts and my rights and my ups and my downs there. Um, so Brock, you would like this in darker colors? Like what four colors would you like it in? Well, considering I'm like a, you know, huge sports fan, red, white, black, and maybe like a charcoal gray. Oh yeah. Like Husker colors. Okay. Uh, I could also do like a navy blue and a white and a light and dark gray for the Yankees. Oh yes. That would be pretty You can make Yankee looking. colors. Okay, now look. I press my center seam so that the center is going to nest. But look, be, again, because I pressed the left one direction and the right the other direction, even now these seams are going to match. It's just so clever. Just so clever. All right, so we have a development here. Oh, dear. Uh, so uh, according from Teresa's question about making this as two different shapes with the triangle and the double ended okay. chisel. Uh, so Eric had, has uh, responded saying that uh, if you do it that way, you're going to end up with Y seams. And so we make it this way so you don't have the Y seams. Um, okay. I'm going to trust Erica. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that usually sometimes, doesn't go well. Sometimes Eric and I before shows have a conflict of interest. Um, Okay. Oh, I see what she's saying. I don't know. Would we? Would we? Would we really? If we, if on the diet made these two shapes, right? Then we could just sew them together. Uh, we'll have to look at that. I'm just reading what people, what other people. Wrote. There we go. Y'all are smarter than me on this stuff. Yeah, why seems, and we never, I mean, why seems are just brutal sometimes, so we try not to include those in our dies. Okay, so now I'm doing the other half, and we are just moving right along. All right, and don't forget, if you have any questions, the Brilliant Rock is here. Okay. Um, uh, we do have a question. And yes. I'm not going to lie, this is a question that when I saw uh, this die come up, it was a question that I had as well. Okay. Uh, Michael asks, is there a mosaic number one, two, and three? <laughs> um, in the cube booklet, hmm? I believe that there are other mosaics, one, two, and three. But and I thought the exact that. same thing when we were testing it. I said, hmm, where is said mosaic one, two, and three? And are they different than the four? One would hope so, right? You, yeah, that would, that would be ideal. Yeah. Hey, somebody who's doing our chat, would you let us know if there's a mosaic one, two, and three? There are. I've, I, I, I looked it up as well because not only did I look it up then, I'm looking it up again now. Uh, so go. we do have a number of block patterns that are mosaic number, you know, X, Y, and Z. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing up to 22. Oh, there, see. Uh, 25, I think I saw there. Okay. So... There are a, a wide variety of mosaic possibilities. For all of us here who wanted to know. Okay, so now I'm just pressing out my middle. Boy, did I get a lot of thread there. Okay, and the center seam, it's gonna lay really flat if you just press it open. Well, okay, so Brock, you should look and tell us um, what's the difference between mosaics one, two, and three, and four. Like, are mosaics, the other ones, like two colors? Or are they meant to be three colors? What are you thinking? Uh, so, I mean, just according to what it looks like on the website, there's multicolored. Some are as okay. many as four colored, and okay. some are only two. Okay. So, I think, uh, I think you could definitely get your money's worth out of this. I think so. I do love it. Okay, so look at how good this is because we did the up and the down thing. Right, with our little blocks. Okay, so now we're gonna do this one as well. I'm just gonna give it a little press here. So we have a couple more questions here. Okay, good, because I'm just so pressing. Marsha asked, uh, or has made the comment, I I'm still on the fence about this die. Seems like a lot of work for one block. 
Oh. And I will say, Pam would have had this done in a cinch if I wasn't distracting her with puzzle and Golden Girls talk. And trivia questions, and, yeah, yes. Yeah, trivia questions. Um, so, you know, that's a really great question because yesterday um, when I was working, so before we do a show, we do what we call step outs. So we create this block here, and then I create the little sub units for it. I cut and sewed these two little blocks in, I don't know, eight minutes, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so here I just try to really go slow so you can see, you know, the process and really understand the pressing, but no, it's not at all. And that actually leads perfectly into the next question. Uh, yes. which Sue had asked of what we do with the sample box that we make that uh, we do for the shows. Yes, yeah, so do you know, Brock? Uh, I was curious about this as well. So we, behind us here in the Dream Studio, we have a section over there um, that we have just totes, those clear plastic totes. And every time we get a new die and finish a new block, we try to keep two different colorways of it. So like yesterday in the show, um, we talked about... Uh, two different blocks, and we just have those available. Originally, in my quilting head, I thought, oh, I should make a sampler block, a sampler quilt. But then I realized then I would have to remake the blocks because we use them all the time. So this finishes, do you know what size this finishes to, Brock? Uh, eight inches? Ten? Ten. Yeah. yeah. So eight, it's going to go in the ten inch uh, box, okay? And then forevermore, when we talk about other 10 inch blocks like the pickle dish and um, other 10 inch blocks, we can have this with okay. it. Yeah, but that's a contrast. great question. Yeah, so they just don't magically appear here in the set. We do a little prep there. Okay, now I'm gonna sew my halves together and they're gonna line up perfectly because we sewed them and cut them and cut them perfectly and sewed them on that quarter inch seam. And yes, I'm gonna backstitch. All right, and do we have more questions, Brock? Uh, well, let's see here. So we, got, we got a few more favorites of uh, Bob dies. So okay. uh, Rose, her favorite is the Tangled Star. I like the Tangled Star a lot. It is a, a very popular one. Uh, Linda, a uh, big fan of the Glorified Nine Patch, so she's on Team Erica. She is. That. Uh, let's see, uh, Sheila's been using the Millen Star die a lot lately. So ah, good. I do like that new Millen Star. And the Pris Priscilla Stripe that we just uh, released, it's our die to try for the month. It's only available to the end of the month. I do like that one as well. Okay, so I'm just making sure I have all my <laughs> pieces in the right direction. There we go making sure their seams are lining up. We have another question here from uh, Nurse Kate who wanted to know a little bit more about our little irons and wondering uh, just to, maybe about an idea of how hot they get and do they really work well enough to flatten the patterns? Okay, the so that is such a good question. Do you have some kind of an answer there, Brock? Uh, well, I can't give you an exact temperature because I no, don't No, but it's that. screaming but is yeah, the, they how get hot, hot it gets. They get hot enough that you don't want to touch it. No. Okay, and um, I like them for projects like this, where I'm pressing one, some of the pieces, and then when I'm all done with this, I will take it to my good big um, iron that's at my ironing board and give it a good press, okay? But yes, for this purpose, it gets really hot, and you can adjust the temperature on it just like a normal iron, but I like the chunkiness of it, that it's not gonna fall over, you know, kind of thing. Um, but yes, hot enough that Erica and I both have burned our hands on it. So that's how hot it gets. All right. So I'm just pressing my seam down. Okay, I pressed it that direction. So now I'm going to press here. There we go. And Brock, do you have a favorite size cube? Do I have a favorite size cube? Yeah. Uh, we'll go with the four inch. Really? Yeah. Go for it. Four is my lucky number. There you go. Always has it been? Yeah, yeah. As long as I can remember having a lucky number, it's always been four. Always been four. Okay, 
So I've pressed my seams in opposite directions. Now I'm just gonna do this last seam and it's gonna line up. And I just really enjoy the 3D look of this. I just think this is such a beautiful flock. Okay. And again, I took, <coughs> it took me a minute to sew in here, but we're talking about puzzles and golden girls and shapes. All right, Brock, any other questions that they have? Uh, so D has asked, uh, are you pressing open to reduce bulk? Yes. All right. Uh, yep. When we get those seams together and we press them open, yes, we're doing it to reduce the bulk. Uh, Debbie asks, uh, wants to know if there are any Y seams when putting together the Lemoyne star die. No. There are none. None Y seams. Not a single Y seam to be found. Yeah. Peggy's so, asking what the weather's like here today. Oh, would you like to give them a weather report? It's beautiful outside. <laughs> it's beautiful for me. Uh, I, I like the cloudy, overcast, rainy, everyone else Rock is Rock could have lived have in fun. Seattle his whole life. I like could have. I did. Um, it has been cold and nasty. Yesterday was kind of nasty, though. Don't yes. you think? Well, eh, that again, I enjoyed rain. it. But. Hey, look at this. So now I'm gonna just take it to my big iron. I'm gonna give it a good press. Look at how perfect this came together. Take your time. Take your time, press it the correct way, and it's gonna be beautiful. All right? All right, this is our mosaic number four. If you're curious, you can check out the other mosaic blocks that we have on our website. All right, and then in the center, um, you can do, when you go to press this open, uh, we have this method we call, it's called twirling. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my little scissors and I'm gonna snip like the first two little stitches. And then that's gonna open up the center so it lays flat. Which I think is kind of cool. It's an Eleanor Burns um, phenomenon. She likes to do that. All right, brilliant, Brock, thank you for helping with us today. Um, do you want to announce our winner? I sure can. Uh, Maestro, if you wouldn't mind rolling that drum, please. Our winner is Mimi V from Lubbock, Texas. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're going to love it. All right, this month's die to try is the Go Priscilla Stripe die. And it's only available to the end of the month or why supplies last. So get yours today. So here's a sample of a light background. Here's a sample of a dark background. Uh, Brilliant Brock, do you have a preference of background? Uh, I actually kind of like the light background for that okay. one. This one's a little scrappy. Really fun patterns um, available on the AccuQuilt website. Make sure you pick up a Priscilla Stripes. All right, quilters, on behalf of our entire team, um, offsite we have Katie and Morgan and Lauren are helping with our comments. And here in the Dream Studio, we have Justin and Joe and Greg, and of course, the brilliant Brock. And I'm Pam Heller, reminding you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. To learn more about your quilting craft, be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can check out the events page on the AccuQuilt website for more details on upcoming shows. And if you're looking for even more inspiration, visit our blog for exclusive tutorials filled with tips and tricks. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Join Eric and me on Tuesday, December 20th at 12 noon Central Time for some last minute gift ideas. Then I'll be back next Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live as we cut and sew a block using the newly released Go Chinese Lantern die. We'll see you there.